Hi, I'm John from Proper Printing and in this video I'm going to show you how I make a PCB with the uh, Creality CR10. I'm starting this video with uh, an announcement. I have recently created a uh, GoFi page uh, on which I will place some, uh, well, some teasers or random stuff, uh, some random photos I create. And I can see here some, uh, some photos and these are the last photos I've made for uh, for the project of this video so if you want to uh, to see more then you can look you can check this page and follow it if you see a photo and you think whoa that's that's awesome i want to use that as my uh, my desktop background then uh the the, the quality of these pictures are uh, not that good but you can always send me a, a message and i can send you a uh, a full-sized high-quality photo. Uh, another nice uh, feature of this Ko-Fi page is that you can support me. Buy me a coffee and uh, it's not a secret that I really enjoy it. So it keeps me going. A lot of things I've created and done in the past uh, lead to this video. So I'm very excited to to make it. Um, there is a lot I want to show you. So this video can be a bit longer. I, I'm trying to get it as short as possible. But yeah, don't blame me if it's too long. There's just a lot of information. Well, let's uh, get right to it. Okay, as I've said, I'm going to create a PCB. Um, I'm not the first who is uh, doing that with a 3D printer. Um, there's a video made by uh, Tech2C. He has a 3D printer and uh, has added a, uh, a grinder to it and he is making uh, PCBs and he is explaining uh, his settings and the software he uses to uh, create a PCB, a double sided PCB. He works with, uh, as you can see here, with uh, double sided tape. He uses two screws and this is the section on which is uh, uh, explained how to do that because if you want double sided yeah they have to align properly i have a different method and of course mine is a bit better well in a previous video i've shown you how um, i printed on this uh, this sheet and that uh, that was kind of a success um, it wasn't my goal to print on uh, on wood but yeah that turned out uh, to be working but my goal was to make something on which I can fixate stuff. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I first wanted to use uh, a clamping system uh, with which I can clamp the, uh, the PCB. You probably are familiar with uh, these kind of clamps. They are uh, called toggle clamps. And they work uh, pretty well for uh, holding down well something like a PCB so if you go to Thingiverse and um, you search for a toggle clamp the coolest toggle clamp ever made on Thingiverse I have created this in the, at the end of 2017 and that's the one I'm going to use in this video I've created the biggest print I've ever printed and if you put it everything together you have this piece of wood and on the other side a T slot plate with two toggle clamps and some uh, corner pieces. This T slot plate is uh, the same size as my build plate. It's uh, 300 by 300 millimeters. These sections are free for uh, for the clamps, and you can print this uh, thing vertically and diagonally, so it will fit your build plate. I'm going to upload uh, this on uh, Thingiverse together with. Uh, with these corner pieces. I had to to adjust the uh, the toggle clamps uh, a bit because the version uh, on Thingiverse is uh, well, the, um, the center distance of the, the slot holes they aren't they, they don't fit on this, uh, this plate. This slot plate uses the same uh, T-slot bolts as is used on the Creality printer to hold the, the Creality uh, together. So you can just use the normal, uh, normal T-slot nuts because this profile it's uh, just based off the profile of, 
a Creality printer. And I will use it to uh, hold down uh, a PCB. I think it's possible to uh, flip it over once uh, one side is uh, is uh, grinded. Uh, and if you flip it over then it will align properly. I have an, uh, a PCB here, just uh, plain copper on both sides. And uh, more than enough mills or drill drill bits and uh, <laughs> one uh, maybe one one thing that's also kind of important is uh, the actual grinder itself um, <laughs> I so simply forgot about it from one of my previous videos I've created a uh, a quick tool change so that's like a uh, well, like this uh, thing, I can add a, uh, a nozzle uh, to it and uh, with this connector I can connect it to my cables. I can do the same thing with this, uh, this laser engraver and now I have done the same thing with this grinder. Um, this grinder is, uh, runs at uh, 12 volt, so I can just use the, uh, the connection of the, the, the cold end fan yeah that's no i can use the the hot end fan uh, because i can control that i can just uh, adjust the fan speed and instead of a fan this uh, thing is running um, the only thing i had to add was a, a 100k resistor to mimic uh, the temperature of 25 degrees so your printer doesn't go into error state so let's start let's uh, Open the software. I'm going to use Flatcam. The print I'm going to use is not a design by myself. I want to create a MOSFET PCB for an, an uh, airsoft gun. I'm not going too much into details about airsoft or the MOSFET or why you should use a MOSFET in your airsoft gun. I have the PCB layout on their website so you can just download this uh, BRD file. You can open that file in um, Eagle. You can download Eagle uh, free of charge if you are um, a hobbyist. You can export it to uh, to Gerber. Uh, I won't show you this here because I don't have Eagle installed on uh, on the system. If we go to the project, I've created already a project. Um, in which I've imported these uh, Gerber files and here it is, this is the PCB and here you have all the, the Gerber files what I'm going to do because I've never done this before um, I'm going to find everything out and I will make a time lapse of the most interesting uh, footage I think I've uh, figured out uh, Flatcam. Yes, and I think I know how I uh, can create a double-sided PCB without having to use these center holes. This is the PCB uh, I'm going to use. It's a Eurocard format. It's 100 by 160 millimeters. Yeah, I'm going to manually uh, place the uh, the mill on this point. So this is zero and everything is calculated from this point. If you select uh, the Gerber object, um, you have to uh, create an, an offset of 10 in X and in Y. And I'm going to copy this and do this for all the Gerbers. Now it has a small offset of uh, 10 millimeters and I can create a new geometry and edit this geometry. And this is going to be my board outline. 
uh, can create a rectangle start at uh, the origin and if you look at the uh, lower right corner you can see the coordinates and the PCB is 100 by 160 so this is the board outline I'm going to close the editor and say yes this is just for uh, for reference so you have the, um, the double-sided tool you can select all files you want to um, to mirror well the mirror axis is in X so it's uh, along this axis and the reference if I choose box and I select a geometry if I select uh, this board outline and I do a mirror then you can see it is going to mirror over here and I do that for the bottom jubber for the drill file and the profile now firstly I'm going to uh, mill this and then flip the board over and uh, mill the rest drill the holes and finally uh, cut out the PCB so now I'm going to uh, generate the CNC code well we have to modify the uh, the G code a little bit to make it work uh, for the printer so I can generate the CNC uh, job you can see it has generated these outlines if you click on a few CNC code the first thing we have to append is uh, M211 S0 what this line does is um, it disables the software end stops because uh, by default it's not possible to go in a negative Z uh, another thing is because I'm going to uh, manually uh, place the, the, the drill or the mill on the, the zero position uh, I don't want to, uh, to home the printer because that will uh, not go well so I'm going to add the line G92 X Y and Z 0 and what this does it sets the actual position and that's uh, well zero for all three axes few CNC code yeah it has added all these lines and M3 means enabling the spindle but um, that won't work uh, with this system because uh, I've connected the uh, the grinder to the part end fan so to enable this uh, this fan it's uh, sim similar to enabling the laser on the laser engraver it's with 1M106 so um, instead of uh, the M3 command I'm going to use M106 and at the end you have the M5 this means disabling the spindle and that's M107 that's it so this is my first CNC uh, code save the code dot G code save yes so this is my first uh, the first G code uh, I'm now going to uh, generate all the G codes start milling and then I have PCB yeah I first place this uh, this T slot plate the PCB add the engraver Um, now I'm going to manually uh, place it on the, the zero position and after I've done that then uh, I can run the g-codes and then everything should work fantastically as always what you certainly must not do is press this button then uh, it will go to its homing position and that's something you definitely do not want to happen uh, you can see uh, I've placed all the gerber files here and I'm going to start with the copper top uh, ISO uh, ISO is the uh, uh, the outline hope for the best okay one two and go It certainly sounds like something is happening. It 
it didn't go all the way through. So, um, it broke off quite fast. Okay, don't break, come on. I have to admit my defeat. Well, a partly defeat. I have succeeded with the alignment of the top and bottom uh, without uh, having to use those two center holes. Um, yeah, as you can see here, that is uh, that works. It's way easier to to place the board on the T slot plate with those. Uh, with these kind of, uh, of blocks. So that works. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with, uh, with that. Within well, this uh, box of, uh, of mills and drills, there isn't one yeah, which is good enough to, uh, to mill this PCB. I had a, a V-shaped uh, tool, but it only scratches the surface a bit. I create videos. Uh, without knowing that it will work um, yeah that uh, comes with uh, the risk that it doesn't this is the original quick tool change without the swappable uh, holder and if you scroll all the way down I will place all the tools which are uh, made for this platform here um, and those are uh, tools made by me and tools made by others. If you create your own design based on this platform, I will place it here. Uh, thanks a lot to uh, to you guys, Viper55025, uh, Datalab Tech, and uh, Legit Lee, to create designs based on uh, on this platform. I'm uh, really honored. I really like uh, seeing the videos you have created. I'm very happy that uh, that you have made uh, your own tools and shared uh, these so other people uh, can uh, can use them and this is exactly yeah what i wanted to achieve with uh, this quick tool change i already came to the conclusion uh, that there are a lot of tools you can add to the printer because yeah it's just an xyz platform and you can add all kinds of tools to it yeah i'm going to do another video on this yeah, I must because I can't yeah, leave it like this. I hope you have, like me, learned from this. Yeah, if you have uh, liked this video, please uh, hit that like button. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I have almost, at the time of making this video, I'm at 96 subscribers. So thanks a lot for subscribing. I'm going to... Uh, to get uh, this to work soon stay tuned because there is more to come see uh, you on the the next video bye